stay tuned for my biggest unboxing ever. Pow, and welcome back to the channel, Dan Who Reviews. As always, my name is Dan W. Make sure you are following me on Instagram at it's Dan Who. And today could quite possibly be the biggest and best unboxing I've ever done. No joke, honestly, the box won't even fit on my table. It's massive. Uh, this come at a surprise to me. Didn't expect to get these uh, just yet. And I can't even tell you how I got them because I've been sworn to secrecy. It's top secret, so I'm sorry. I can't tell you, but uh, I'm very happy about it. It's San Diego Comic-Con week, so obviously subscribe to this very channel as I'm going to be flooding you with content, reveals, predictions, reviews. Uh, it's going to be a good few weeks. So uh, yeah, subscribe to the channel now and get a head start. But if you are new here, then the concept of my unboxing videos are I take boxes out of bigger boxes and basically let you know what I'm going to be reviewing on the channel. Uh, so yeah, this is a good one. So without further ado, I'm going to start taking stuff out of this box, okay? And then just showing it off and giving you my first impressions. So um, yeah, how about, how about this? Yeah, that's right. Marvel Legends 80th Anniversary. Uh, this might give you a hint of what else I've got. But yes, this is the Captain America now. I believe this is going to be, in America, going to be a Walmart or Walmart exclusive. Um, yes, this is Alex Ross inspired Captain America with the actual scale sculpted on. And I can say they look beautiful in person. Honestly, I don't know how well you can see that on screen. But yeah, he comes with two interchangeable heads, slightly different expression. Interchangeable hands, he's got the shield and the throwing effect that we've seen before. But yes, this could quite possibly be the best comic book Marvel legend of Captain America we have. Uh, and I haven't even opened him yet. He looks beautiful. Um, so yeah, obviously stay tuned to the channel because uh, I'm going to be reviewing this guy. But he doesn't come alone. He comes with the Holy Trinity, of course, which is Iron Man and Thor. So again, these look really good. I think these are hitting stores right now. Uh, Iron Man comes with three interchangeable heads. You know me, Iron Man, my favorite character, so I always love the opportunities for posing on the shelf, and he comes with some new effects that I've never seen before. So we get a classic comic book Iron Man head, two other interchangeable heads that make his sort of very first sort of appearance. It's not his first appearance, but it's very similar to, uh, but it's a classic Iron Man looking, and uh, yeah, looks really, really good. Again, these 80th anniversary boxes, just like the Marvel Studio boxes, very clean and uh, look very good. Uh, and then, of course, Thor with his hammer, even has the scripture written on it. And uh, yeah, again, these could be the best Thor and Iron Man Marvel Legend comic book versions we've got. We shall find out. But yeah, these three, honestly, looking really good. These are the three single-packed um, Marvel Legends for this 80th anniversary line. Looking really good. Subscribe to the channel for reviews of these coming very soon. Right, moving on to some more things in the box. Can you hear me rustling around? Can you hear me? You probably can't see me, but you can hear me. Right, this one's a bigger box, okay? Pow, we have Colossus and Juggernaut. Um, We've already got the Juggernaut and a Builder figure, um, but this is a different version. We get an unmasked head, we get a beaten up sort of helmet, and of course, this is the Colossus that everyone wanted. It is the Chrome, his sort of classic comic book look. Uh, a lot of people are gonna be very happy with this guy. He looks great, very metallic -y and chromey, uh, just in the box. Comes with interchangeable hands as well for displaying. Uh, even Juggernaut comes with some interchangeable hands, which we never got on the previous Builder figure. But yeah, on the back of the box, we get the comic, and we get a little write-up. Again, really liking this 80th anniversary line. Uh, a lot of people are going to be wanting to see reviews of this guy in comparisons with the previous ones. Uh, so obviously, subscribe, because I'm going to be doing just that. Um, looking very good. Now, if you've been following me on this channel for any amount of time, then uh, you know it's no secret that I'm a massive MCU fan. MCU collector knows what I'm talking about. Um, so yeah, let's get into that, shall we? So what are the first ones I'm pulling out? So a lot of people have seen this one already. 
uh, reviews online. It is Surge and Hella. Hella comes with some much needed, well not needed, but some great additions, uh, interchangeable heads. Uh, Scourge comes with uh, Tez and Troy, Des Troy. Uh, and then, uh, yeah, and they look really good. Really, really good. I'm not complaining. Another new MCU character and then an upgraded character that we previously had. She even comes with an interchangeable hand holding Thor's hammer when she smashes it up in uh, Ragnarok. So yeah, nice Ragnarok two pack. So happy Hasbro are not scared to revisit previous re released films and give us new figures and characters. So yeah, Hela and Surge. This one's really good. Captain America and Peggy Carter. Now I think this is gonna be an Amazon exclusive, but I, I don't know. I don't know for sure. Um, but yeah, this is a Captain America, the first Avenger, of course. He comes with that prototype vibranium shield that Howard Stark sort of gives him in the first one. He comes with that shield that he uses when he was going on um, tour with the, uh, doing his gimmicky Captain America thing. He comes with a couple of interchangeable heads that look very similar, but I think that's because one wears the helmet and one doesn't. Uh, and then of course, Agent Margaret Carter, Peggy Carter. Uh, really happy that we have her in Marvel Legends form. She had two seasons of her own TV show, um, and then she's been uh, a main love interest of, of course, Steve Rogers. He, he, spoiler alert, he went back in time and stayed with her uh, at the end of Endgame, for God's sake. So yes, we needed Peggy Carter immortalized on our MCU collections on our shelves. Uh, very happy, and I, I can confirm, by the way, she looks great. Looks really, really good. Obviously, reviews. Who else have we got? We've got some more. Pow. So again, really happy seeing these in person, by the way. So we got Grandmaster and Korg, another Ragnarok two-pack. A little bit disappointed that we didn't get Meek, but I'm still really happy we're getting Grandmaster. That's Jeff Goldblum in figure form, by the way, people. Yes, I know we've got the San Diego Comic-Con coming out, uh, the exclusive with Grandmaster and the Collector, but it does have a different head. So if you want to see Grandmaster smiling, you're going to have to get that Collector sort of San Diego Comic-Con exclusive. But Korg looks really good. It's a shame we didn't get Meek. Meek's the only disappointment, as I thought Korg and Meek come together. Um, but yeah, we get Korg, which again is a figure that we probably didn't think we were going to get. So um, yeah, Grandmaster, Korg, great characters. Great additions to the MCU shelf. More great additions to the MCU shelf. We have an Ant-Man and the Wolf two pack. Now, really happy they, they didn't uh, miss out on giving us the main protagonist of Ant-Man and the Wolf, which was, of course, Ghost. And Ghost comes with that unmasked head as well, which I always really appreciate getting. I uh, can't remember the actress's name off the top of my head, but it looks really, really good. Uh, look forward to seeing how that looks. Still need to get myself a comic book version of Ghost, but I like this movie version. We get an Ant, is that Anthony? Antonio Banderas, maybe? And then uh, Louise, and that Louise head, by the way, is perfect. It really is perfect. Uh, Hasbro, bravo. That looks import quality. Looks like Michael Pena. Ex-con, Louise, uh, in a new suited body by the looks of it. And uh, yeah, looks really good. And you even get Hank Pym's lab. Hank Pym's lab. Crazy accessory. Now we just need Hank Pym. Hasbro, come on. Hank Pym, please. Thank you very much. Uh, what else? Okay, last one. Last one. And this one's a good one. Okay, so in the US, I think there's going to be a Target exclusive, but it ain't for me. It is Spider-Man and Iron Man from Infinity War. The Mark 50 and the Iron Spider suit. Now, this Mark 50 is a new repaint. I can tell straight away this is different colours to the previous versions. It's uh, much more movie accurate to the movie version. with that darker sort of uh, uh, red... It's, it's good, it's nice, it looks good. And he comes with those accessories as well, which we see in Battle in Thanos. And of course, we finally get the Iron Spider with his Iron Spider legs and an unmasked Tom Holland head, which doesn't look too bad. Looks more like, uh, I don't know, maybe his younger brother, but uh, it, it, still looks, it still looks good. Um, yeah, and he's even got the gauntlets on his wrist this time. And of course, the Iron Spider legs. It wasn't the same, was it? Uh, that previous version, I've made my own custom. I will compare it to the actual proper one now. But uh, still, Infinity War could be my favourite um, MCU film, I think. Maybe Endgame needs it a few more times. But still, Infinity War, love having these additions. So yeah, Iron Man Mark 50 and Spider-Man. So uh, yeah, what can I say, people? A lot of new Marvel legends. I even have... 
worthy cap that I still have to review on the channel. I haven't even done a review for this yet. So obviously that next week should be getting the second Avengers wave. Finally, that Hulk builder figure wave needs some figures in that wave for sure. So should be getting that. Should be getting the X-Force Windigo wave. Um, and it's Comic-Con next weekend. Um, I don't know where I'm going to find the time to review all these. But it's going to be fun. What am I complaining about? It's going to be good. Uh, so yeah, if you want to see reviews of all of these 80th anniversary packs, please, please, please subscribe to the channel. The only one I didn't get right now is the Hulk and first appearance Wolverine. Uh, don't desperately need that Wolverine. Not in a rush. Uh, I've pre-ordered it and uh, I can wait patiently for that one. So uh, and I've, there's plenty of reviews online. Go and check out Unparalleled Universe. He did a great review of that two pack. Uh, but these other ones... I couldn't wait. I had to get them while I could. And uh, yeah, very happy I did. So I'm rambling. I need to go and start reviewing these. But yeah, 80th anniversary. Happy birthday, Marvel. San Diego Comic Con this, uh, this next week. It's going to be good. So yeah, my name's Dan W. Subscribe to the channel for all of these reviews coming very, very soon. Probably today and tomorrow. So yeah, I'll see you on the next one. Pow. <laughs>